Hey, this is Pinu. I hope you're doing well. Since it's almost the end of 2019, I thought I would record a quick video. First of all, to wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And second of all, to summarize a little bit how this year has been uh, from the from my music point of view. So and it's been it's been quite a good uh, year, I have to say. Not only that, I've learned a lot in terms of music production and things like this, but also from personal development point of view, I think I've. Uh, uh, made quite a few changes to my life and to myself that will not only benefit my music in the future but also me as a person. I'll mention quite a few. I'll mention probably a little bit more about this in some of my future videos. So in 2019 I released nine uh, tracks uh, and I had about 3,000 streams on Spotify and currently, uh, as of today, I have probably around 200 uh, monthly listeners on Spotify, which for some may not be a big deal, but uh, for me it is quite a big deal because at the beginning of the year I probably had around so it's um, it's a quite a big of improvement and this is not only thanks to my music developing a little bit but also through some of the things I've been doing that I will try to share a little bit more in some of my uh, future videos more details about what I've learned and how to get your music heard so um, Right, so I've, uh, this, this, there are a few things that I want to point out specifically uh, in this video, and if you're making, if you're making music or thinking about making music, I hope some of these will help you a little bit. So first of all, what I've learned is that your music has to be good and it may sound obvious but honestly every single track I released I thought it is good in my uh, in my eyes but only when I started to, to get some feedback I realized okay it may not be perfect there are things I could have improved and I can improve in my future releases so it still was good to release them just to just to learn a little bit more but they they, are, they were probably not um, the best sort of uh, tracks that they could be so the first learning is that your music has to be good and but on the flip side you have to release music to get some feedback to learn so like I said, I'll, I have released nine track this year, and then, but I'm probably going to release uh, less next year, uh, probably around three or four tracks. And that takes me to point number two, is that it's better to release less, but if the music is better, quality though so try to maybe uh, show your music or send your music to a few people that you know that can give you some feedback unfortunately I don't have many people that I can uh, send that music to I'm starting to develop this sort of relationships where I can send a few people tracks that are not released yet and then get some feedback and maybe then improve and then release that's if you can do this that that's that's great you know i don't have too many people that uh, i can ask for feedback uh, but um, it is important it is important otherwise if you don't get feedback you probably stay 
on the same level all the time. So you need that feedback, however way you want to do it, whether to release to a wider audience and just get, try to get feedback that way somehow, or just to a more sort of closed, uh, some of your friends, maybe some, some people that you know that will be honest or will give you an honest feedback about uh, your music. And I've certainly learned a lot from the feedback I received, especially uh, in the last few months uh, about my music. That will definitely help me uh, to make better music in the future. And that leads me to another point is that regardless how good your marketing is going to be, and you still should try to market your music on social media and in other ways, but it doesn't matter how good your marketing is. If your music, music is not good enough, it's not going to help you much in the long term. So although I have about 200 uh, monthly listeners on Spotify, I know that this number is, like, is likely gonna go down if I don't continue to release good music in the next few months and years to come because my, some of my songs are currently on Spotify playlist, but they will most likely be removed at some point. And I need new songs, new material to replace that, uh, that, that current, uh, current tracks and have more plays that way. Another thing is, which I mentioned before as well, is your psychology. Psychology is very important and you know, whether, and it can it can either make you successful or not. It depends even on your attitude. If you have your I can do it attitude or I'm not that so good, probably not everybody gonna like my music. Not everybody gonna like your music, but there'll be still some people probably that will like like your music. But you need to believe in this and believe in yourself, believe in what you do, learn all the time get feedback from people, learn from it and do better and better things. But uh, if, you, if you don't believe in yourself, that will become much, much harder than if you, have, if, you have, if, you are, if you are confident about yourself and the fact that you can do it. It will take some time to learn, but you can do it, you can learn it and you can become better and better. So another thing that, I, that I've learned that I'm probably not like a performer. So I like creating music and like composition, but not necessarily performing, you know. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work in the future. This is just something that I think uh, is the case but um, yeah I see myself more as a composer and maybe music producer I have some ideas I think uh, that I want to put out there and let people to listen and and see if they like it or not but I not necessarily uh, find it even attractive maybe to to tour uh, and you know do like a live performances I don't know this is something that I think about I haven't done it yet mainly due to the sort of time constraint but I don't see my music career as my primary ca career I do other things uh, as my day-to-day -day job and I think it will stay like this and music is gonna be something that I do only in addition to, to, to my regular job. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, like I said, it's been a good year. I've learned a lot. Uh, I want to thank you for being with me uh, and, and following what I'm doing. And it's great to have you with me and that really is great support for me. So thank you very much for this. I hope you will continue to do that. Uh, in the future and i wish you again merry christmas and a happy new year and see you again soon in 2020